Just getting breakfast. Uh, we were in Oslo. We got some plans today, but uh, first, just gotta eat. So hungry, so tired. Waking up in Oslo, we were greeted by lots and lots of rain. So we decided to do the only logical thing and go to a bunch of museums. After a 20 minute bus ride, we arrived at the Peninsula of Education, where we would spend our last full day in the country and do some serious learning, starting at the best museum in Norway. Arrived at the museums, just took the bus over. It was about 20, 20-ish minutes. Um, this is the Fram Museum, Polar Exploration Museum. I'm gonna have a look and see if maybe we'll go to a different museum as well, if we can get a combined ticket. Okay, so we're in a museum. I don't know why my camera's flashing like that. There's nothing really there. We're definitely going in here. Ugh. Okay. I don't know if this is an authentic smell, but it's kind of weird. They do have an authentic polar security camera here, though, which is nice to see. Eskimos needed security as well. What's cooking? Smells disgusting. Yeah. I'm glad we're staying in the hotel that we chose. This one doesn't really do the job. So here's the live security feed. Uh, turns out it's not actually a security camera, it's just a screen out here. Uh, so it's cool. The animals are uh, scared here. What difficult are you going? Uh, okay. My high score is 55. Ooh, tough luck. Not that good. Nice. Okay. So we got some kind of cargo moving contraption. Yeah, I could do that. That could be us one day. The camera seems to have a fit in here. That light is not actually flashing in real life. It's just weird. All right. I don't think we're gonna go on just yet. I believe there is a light show. And I will update you if I see it. You can see the world famous Inuit tennis rackets that they used to play snow tennis. Uh, they had their old World Cup championships of this every year. It was really quite a thing. Should have been there to see it. Alright, so we're on the boat. There is a bit of a light show. It's, uh, it would be more immersive if you couldn't see the bottom of the projection. It turns out you can also go down. I don't know where I'll find that, but uh, I guess we'll see soon. Um, also seems to be some kind of rocking bench over there, which is pretty neat. I believe I can go up here. Eh, not much here. I don't know how I get the lower levels. Oh, actually, you know what? Just seen it. It's right there. Okay. This is a realistic depiction of what it would have been like on the on the boat. I'm, I don't know if you can see me rocking here. It's a very slight rock. Yep. It's pretty immersive. All right. Bit of a storm. Don't know why. There's this rainbow effect currently on the camera, but yes, yeah, it's kind of pretty. solid mud, mud collection here. I'm not really sure what this is about. Those look quite nice actually. Right, going deeper. Oof. Low doorways here. Let's sit here. Okay, invasion of privacy. Not bad. 
Okay, I think these are all just sort of like bedrooms or something. We've got some diary entries here. One of them was about awards. Each four crew members shared this cabin. Everyone had more than one job on board. Okay. All right, next up. Working man down there. Uh, this is pretty much just the room that we saw through there. Different angle, I guess. Very nice. Uh, this is what we've been looking for. Bock beer. Very cool. Okay, so I just found something kind of weird. It's sort of like a... Uh, what do you call it? Like a... Upwards telescope, let's call it for now, before I uh, remember the name. Um, and you, you look through it and you just see this fella. I feel like that's not quite right. I didn't realize it rotates. Interesting. Tons of fuel held in 20 tanks. Cool. Oh, back up here. Oh, look, they had names for the sails. How cute. Toiletta. To be fair, it's not. It's not that bad. I'm not seeing a toilet roll holder though. Oh boy. Okay, didn't see that. Did they really keep this right next to the toilet? That doesn't seem sanitary. Of course, they had their own little torture chamber. That's definitely what these tools are for. Can't think of anything else. Just like that, we're back on the deck. Yeah, I thought there'd be one more room, but no, I'm satisfied with that. Very nice. And there's still more down below that we have yet to see. Okay, so we've gone down a level. Uh, one down from the top deck and there's this sort of like cold room of sorts I'm gonna go in I don't think it's gonna be that cold I have a pretty good tolerance for it have a look I thought these people were waiting I guess not oh. push the big button to enter they're both sort of big uh, Okay, please wait 30 seconds for the door to open. Come in. No, okay. It's gonna close in a second. All right, here we go. Oh God, it is a bit cold. Oh, what? There's like a whole, there's like a moving platform in here. What the heck? Uh, is this real? Did this really happen? Do you need to be this cold? Oh, it's, oh my god, it's colder in here. <laughs> I feel you, man. Yeesh. They got the short end of the stick. Okay, this is quite cold. I, let's leave. Oh my god, it's even colder in here. It just <laughs> it keeps getting lower. Oh. Uh, Green button to exit. Oh, I didn't have to push it. All right, back into the wall. That's cold. That's really Is cold. Logic to okay, so we've just gone through this tunnel. We're about to leave, and then I realised we hadn't done this yet. And it turns out there's an entire another entire building that we've missed. And we're about to head to the other museums. And now we've got this entire new room to look at. Probably won't spend too long here. I just want to go on a shit. There's a bit of a warning sign here. You must be able to cross this bar if you were to go into the, inside the ship. Um, I'm not going to try to do it because I know I can. It doesn't seem like that menacing of a bar, but it is a smaller ship, so I will be aware of obstacles when I'm in there. Right now, so this is the this is the narrow ship. Apparently, there are loads of warnings, but I think we can handle it. I'm not sure what this room is. Some kind of 
off of me. Mind your head. I will. It smells very woody in here. Oh, I see why you have to be able to vault that thing now. Got a lot of these in here. Apparently this one's called the Gyo Gyo uh, and it's related, but we haven't found out why this one is. Not really very clear because it's it's called the Flower Museum, but they don't mention anything about the, the Gyo. Very strange. All right, there's not really much down here, so we're just gonna head out. Righto. Finally finished at the Fram Museum, we set off. Okay, one more thing. There's an entire cinema here. So we're gonna watch this show, at least for a little bit. Uh, let's get a middle. Eh, maybe, maybe one more. This one on this one. Finished in the museums, just come outside. Got the sea there. This is the building from the outside. This is the second building. I guess the tunnel's there in between them. The next museum centered around a Norwegian man using a Polynesian boat to navigate the Pacific while meeting all kinds of friends along the way. This is the Kontiki Museum. I am not sure what it actually is. I think it's something about raft and Vikings and some kind of scientific test. But this is the original Quantiki raft, apparently. Uh, more later. So we found the whale shark uh, enclosure. Apparently, the uh, expedition people who rode that raft were attacked by a whale shark. Well, not really attacked. They were disturbed by a whale shark, so they stabbed it. And that's why this is here. Very cool. Traversing the museum, we learn all about Thor and his oceanic adventures, including the Egyptian sequel to Kontiki. Truly an A-plus experience, capped off with an exceptional gift shop. Following our trip to Polynesia, we stopped off for a late lunch before starting the last museum of the day. We're at um, museum number three, which is the Maritime Museum. This boat is leaking. It's a bit more sort of scattered than the other ones. Uh, so we won't spend too long here. Just had a quick uh, spike to eat, not lunch, not lunch yet. We, I was going to get a hot dog outside, but they run out, so I don't really... And they said they had no hot food, which is a bit strange. Um, but we'll see what they have in store here. So we run into the Viking section of the Maritime Museum. They don't have any force or... Actually, okay, that's sort of like a long boat over there but they've also got this little wood chip convention. I don't really know what this is for. I don't know, maybe there's a demonstration that they do every now and then, but also there are all these papers on the wall. I'm just a bit confused, there's no signs or anything, currently. But it's a nice patch of wood, either way. Yeah, a bit of a boat interior here. You could do with replacing the floorboards, it's a bit creaky. Mm, seems cramped. Okay, up a level now. What have we got? Ah, nice little dining room of sorts. Cool. Yo. Boats in action. 
After visiting the first couple of floors, we ended up in the deserted section of the museum. We were in South America. Is this South America? No? Yes, it's... No, yeah, that's what I meant. I meant Africa. Yeah, definitely meant it. Absolutely meant Africa. Korea, Congo. So it's all convincing until you look at the big shiny floor. Inside the Queen of Congo. It's a bit child size, I don't know. Yeah, there's a ladder there, but I don't think you can see on the top of it. Yeah. With not a single soul in sight, we decided to flee back to the city centre. So it's a tad gloomy today. Uh, it's getting uh, on now, about five o'clock. So we're probably not going to have much daylight left to look at landmarks. Um, we are going to go to the Opera House if we can, because you can walk on top of that, which would be cool. I've just walked out. We're still out by the museums. There's the uh, Mar there's the Fram Museum there. I think this is like a war monument or something, but it's just uh, it's very grey. Don't know if you can see, but it is raining, drizzling. It's not actually as cold anymore, though. Shockingly, maybe it's just because I was warm inside, and so I'm cooling off now. But yeah, very interesting statue, I guess. Although it could do with the clean. This here is where we would have arrived had we come a couple months ago, or a month ago really. Normally they do ferries out from about here to somewhere over there. Um, but right now there's just this. Um, I don't know if this is part of the exhibits or if, it, if it's always there or maybe it's one of these summer like gimmicky cruise type things. But yeah, um, that could have been a lot easier than taking the bus, I'm going to be honest. Back on the dastardly bus, we prepared for a much anticipated meal and a night of sightseeing in the rainy city centre. Love their rotary doors here. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> So we got our dinner. Hey, what are you doing? I got. Uh, I went to a place called Fly Chicken. Um, it was alright. There was a weird sauce on it, which was quite sweet. Uh, same sauce that was on the hot dog, so it was okay. Um, we're going to the Opera House now. Finally, it's it's just about eight o'clock almost, um, and it stopped raining mostly. It, maybe there's a few drops in the air, but how about that? Forecast lied. Uh, believe the opera is up ahead we're going to go to the top and we're going to scream at the top of our lungs that's tradition right so we asked the friendly well, official and we're uh, we're allowed to go into the backstage area and see the see them making stuff so here we are at the window behind the opera house yeah no we didn't we didn't actually get let in that would have been interesting but i don't know i'm not that interested it's kind of cool this is where they make the sets I'm in the opera house. This is loud. This is this is the point. They made it a cool design that you could climb up because no one actually likes opera and there'd be no other reason to visit it otherwise. But we're rising. There is. You know what? Let's have a look. Let's have a look inside. <laughs> There's a step there. Oh, the rain's starting to pick up. I reckon we can just slide down if, if it gets wet enough. Cool, keep going. We have reached the summit, and I think this is the best view of the city that we're gonna get. I don't fancy going up the Radisson Hotel over there or anything, and it's pretty nice. I think a lot of people have the same idea as us. We've got a bit of a crowd sort of tailing us up. Uh, but you know what? I'm feeling a lot warmer. I did run a part of the way up. But it's, I think it's pretty cool. Good idea. Uh, props to whoever came up with it. You're a legend. Look, I guess the whole thing's a ramp, so wheelchair access isn't technically an issue. Yeah, unless it basically fails. Yeah, if, <laughs> if, if someone lets go and they forget, or you roll back or something, then yeah, that's it. You could, I mean, this is a pretty decent ski slope. I mean, the, yeah. you know. Yeah. I bet you could, you just need to stick a lift in here. 
yeah, we got some swimmers. Um, so we actually thought about doing this ourselves, but we elected against it because we didn't really think we'd have time. But maybe. What? Oh boy. Not a bad way to spend our last evening in Oslo. Fully satisfied with our day in Oslo, we retreated back to the hotel for our final sleep in Norway. Never a more picturesque country had we seen, and it was a shame to leave so soon. But as one country is left, another one is entered, and this trip was not quite over yet.